Hello brothers and sisters, I want to make a video, um, even though some might think it's late. To be honest, I'm just, from now on, I'm just going to make videos, not from thinking from Monday to Friday, but from Monday to Monday, okay? Because I've noticed that the enemy is really, really, really trying to make my week absolutely miserable, because more so that he knows that I try for um you know the the church is using these videos okay and that they need them pretty much from monday to friday uh but to be honest i'm just gonna make it as soon as i can because even if he's i don't know anytime i have the mood to do it and i'm in the mode to do it because like i was saying my week was absolutely awful in emotionally emotionally i was really 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 getting really down and really stressful getting um all of these mixed emotions you know coming from from the lord anger especially anger coming from the lord my own emotions coming from missing loved ones um and other emotions i believe also in terms of desperation as well coming from external you know external but which, which i believe is coming from other people probably thinking um in me or i believe people they're thinking of me or something like that um some sort of desperation you know and so i was really overwhelmed and i spent the whole week praying praying and crying to the lord for mercy, for forgiveness, you know, to everyone, all of my viewers, not only myself, but for everyone that is uh, requesting that or needing that, needing light, needing hope, you know. Um, also praying for confirmations to the Lord and everything that I do believe and that was shown to me. And I'm so pleased that yesterday he proved that to me. And I just feel, felt so much better instantly after that receiving that confirmation okay so uh like i'm gonna say it's like i just want to say my apologies but at the same time i want you people to understand that it's not like i don't want to do the work i don't like people saying that at all because i love doing this work more than anything okay we need to understand when we are truly doing this work for real the lord will always try he not the lord sorry the enemy will always try to do everything to stop us from doing, okay? To be absolutely bringing blocks and blocks on top of each other, okay? To stop us from doing this work. And this is why I'm just carrying on doing it because he might probably think that it was too late for me to make the video this week. But I do not want to give up on that and I won't give up, okay? Um, even if it goes wrong, I'll make another one. Okay, for some reason, sometimes people call me and the videos get cut off or something like that. Or maybe kids coming or something like that. But yeah, the video for today I want to make, okay, it is to do with um, stress and anxiety, okay, to help us cope with it. Because life in this world is becoming absurdly chaotic, okay. Everything is about rushing, 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 okay. The rushing hour, okay, which is pretty much every single hour, traffic everywhere, and we are really working really hard to meet up the time that the time that shouldn't be there, okay. It is coming for the reasons that we are becoming more and more impatient as human beings, which is the main reasons for that, okay. We want everything now, 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 now right done at this time this time you know and um it shouldn't be this way i mean back in the days it wasn't like this everybody everybody would be patient to receive a letter that would take maybe three months to arrive you know um but now we have wi-fi and if wi-fi is not working or taking too long to open we already getting stressed out fed up complaining that it's taking too long we're becoming over stressed and over impatient for everything you know work is all about targets it's about meeting up times i don't know rush hours you know um 
it is about speed it's about oh my gosh i don't know it just sometimes i'm there at work thinking what is the point of somebody wanting something 24 for next day delivery which is um maybe a belt what is so important to have a belt the next day i mean just crazy 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 things you know and company obviously if they don't meet up on these times they're gonna be consequences for them but we are so much in a rush you know and because of this i've just realized about this because last week i had a car crash and i felt really bad and really guilty to allow myself to be influenced by this um madness okay by this madness okay it could put my life in risk and my daughter's life in risk because she was there in the car and seeing myself and her get panicking and having like you know you have kind of these blanks and this fade out you know kind of asking yourself if this really has happened you know kind of reassuring yourself of what just happened because everything just so fast like just boom like a flash you know um and yeah many people are losing lives because of this you know um road accidents you can see road accidents in one day like maybe twice in a day or three times in a day now it's becoming like so common you know even though people feel uh, really scared about plane crashes i mean people are dying every I, I need to check actually i need to do a research to know how many people die in a day to do to crack car crashes okay they talk about giving laws not to use mobile phones not to drink and drive but what about rushing okay what about rushing okay most of the times the all these accidents is to do with having to meet up for this certain time and be desperate to be there in time and people are speeding up so much okay or to avoid traffic and then you end up making traffic in the road yourself due to an accident you know that you had with someone else you know so it's no point on it okay absolutely no point of it on it we need to learn to there is a saying that a quote okay um that says that it's better to lose one minute in life than a life in one minute um and it's really important that we keep that in mind because i had that in mind i wanted to meet up for taking my daughter to school i didn't want her to, to be late because she was nearly getting late okay so i tried to do a u-turn and that's when i got hit um even though i had done the signal and it was a one-way street she's still trying to pass me on my right okay um obviously I'm, i live in england yeah the road is different way that you drive okay um but i'm trying to turn right and she's still trying to overtake me on the right as well um then she hit me um and it was awful obviously but uh, because i was trying to meet up with time and still end up being not only meeting with the time okay getting later and she end up even not even going for school because she was so you know overwhelmed with everything that had happened okay so there's no point at the end of the day there's no point okay not only for that but then the costs of it now because have to pay the car to repair it okay um it is time wasted and it is money wasted as well okay and can be even fatal as well okay can be things can escalate even more than that so it is better definitely to be late even if bosses talk even if you lose your job or even if people complain in school for whatever reason that you're trying to be meet up in time okay think about the consequences of you rushing and being in an accident or getting hit by a car you know if you are walking okay um not being over careful okay because you want to be um you're thinking that time is more important but then you're forgetting about your own life okay we are forgetting about our own life in our own loved one's life okay too many people are dying my friend just called me hours ago saying that he was going to the shop and he saw a car accident and someone had died from it okay so a lot of people are losing their lives 
Okay, imagine the guilt. Imagine the guilt of having to live um, with this thing in your mind and in your heart that your own loved ones in the car or your own or that you have killed someone else, loved ones, okay? Or you lost your own loved ones due to be rushing anxiety and stress, okay? And there's no point for it. So if people, if this world want to live by rush, let them live by rush themselves, okay? Um, more so when, when life can be threatening, okay? Um, for example, in my work, I obviously have to meet up with targets and stuff like that. There's always can be that risk of, because I do now picking and there's stairs that you have to go and sometimes you might trip on it, you know what I mean? There's always going to be some sort of risk, but obviously nothing compared to um, being in the road, yeah? So I just want to read this scripture, which is an amazing scripture indeed, okay, to give a little bit more encouragement, okay, to help us cope with anxiety and um, stress. That <coughs> this world is pretty much imposing, okay, and um, pressing on us day by day, okay. So, um... The scripture is, <clears throat> guys, sorry about that. The scripture is Matthew 6 and is uh, 25 to 27. Verse 25 to 27. And it says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than them? Can any, can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Hmm? Can we by worrying or stressing ourselves about something, how we gonna survive or something like that, you know, or getting time on, on something? Um, make our lives any better you know in fact there's a lot of illnesses coming due to stress you know getting old wrinkles and like i say illnesses due to stress amount of stress amount of anxiety that we are this world is in, imposing in our own selves okay in our own lives is becoming chaotic i mean the times to take children for school uh, or children finishing school or people finishing work, starting off finishing work, okay, the most common hours. You, you can't go outside. I mean, the amount of traffic, the amount of traffic is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Why are we becoming so anxious like this? At a point that nowadays everyone has car. And they, we don't even realize that everyone having car makes everyone be slower at the same time because traffic. You know, because of traffic and because of the amount of accidents as well ha happening. You know, at the end of the day, we just, we don't have nothing to gain but to lose. You know, so let us learn to be more patient. You know, I really definitely lo learned a lot this past week, this past one week. I've learned to remember patience, okay? to cope with anxiety better and stress, okay? I've learned a big meaning of faith and I'm gonna make a video about that, very important, okay? Very important, important lesson that I've learned, too many important lessons, okay? Not to talk about, like I was saying, I've been through a lot of um, emotions this week, okay? Um, due to too many things that the Lord was revealing to me is more so to do with the next year which again I have to make a video about that okay but uh, again there's a lot of stuff in my head in my life you know I'm just trying to put everything in order um, my apologies to everyone but I'm just trying my best really at the end of the day I'm still a human being okay so I pray that all my brothers and sisters okay can can appreciate whatever I do, when I do it, okay, because um, it is important, okay, I feel a lot of stress as well in having to find time to make the videos, okay, so I pray that you all understand that and be blessed and be protected and sell this words in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, 
Amen. Bye-bye.